it's Chris with Commerce Mortgage. This is the video blog for the month of September. What we wanted to talk about is three topics today, starting with uh, home sales. Now, in the last couple months, we have seen home sales as a nation and certainly in Shasta County down by 5% or more, meaning that year over year, 2013 to 2014, the amount of homes closing has been lower than it was last year. Now, experts and economists are predicting that by the end of this quarter, we are going to see some really strong home sales and we're actually going to end somewhere close to where we ended last year in the overall amount of units that have closed. Here in my office, we are certainly seeing a lot more activity in the last couple weeks. That's buyers that are coming in, getting pre-qualified and going out and getting in the car with a realtor and looking for homes. One of the reasons why we believe this is happening is because housing inventory is up here in Shasta County as well as the rest of the nation. Now, a buyer's market is historically considered when there is seven months of inventory available. And currently here in Shasta County, I believe last time I checked, we had 10 to 11 months of inventory available, over a thousand homes available in our market. Now that's a lot of homes considered it was less than 500 at several points in 2013. That coupled with low interest rates, today rates are still in the low 4%, which is lower than we expected them to be this time of year, is creating a great environment for home buyers to continue to look for homes. And another study that we just looked at shows that it's still 38% cheaper than renting to own a home. So it's still a great market. We have lots of buyers that are going into homes at record lows with the price here in Shasta County and rates. And if you haven't bought a house yet, you still should look at it because I've said this in a few video blogs, it's not going to get any cheaper than it is right now. The last topic I wanted to talk about is the truth about credit inquiries or when someone runs your credit. There's a lot of people that have been believing the myth that if you run your credit report, it's going to hurt your credit score. And there is some truth to that. When you apply for a mortgage, you actually have up to two weeks to run your credit as many times as you want with any mortgage lender out there. And it's only going to count as one credit pool. And so that's something you really want to be aware of if you're out shopping for a mortgage. You have some time to shop your mortgage with other lenders. The second part of that equation is even when you do run your credit, the best I've ever seen is it affect your credit score as a whole by about two to three points. Uh, and the last part of that is it, it's not going to usually impact your FICO score until 45 days from the day you pull it. So if it's September 1st, you're not going to actually see your FICO score be impacted until the middle of October. And so that's something that's really important to know. It's not going to affect your score by that much. Now, for those of you that have 740 credit scores or better, whether you have a 740 or an 815, it's not going to change your interest rate. As far as lenders are concerned, once you're at 740, you're topped out. Whether it's 741 or 801, you're not going to get a different interest rate. So that's something to be aware of. I have a lot of clients that they get upset because I'll run their credit and it's a 780 and they said, well, last year it was a 795. It really has no impact if you're over 740. That's it for this month's video blog. If you have any questions about anything going on with interest rates and market, uh, feel free to give our office a call. And if this was a uh, useful information for you, feel free to forward this on to someone you know.